Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can write unit test with the help of a spring and without a spring. We will see the huge case of adding auto wired, inject mock, mock bean and mock in our test case. Let's see the test setup first. So here we have one service product service IMPL and it has one method get product. This takes one ID and based on this ID product repository returns the product details. We have the entity and now this product is converted into the product response DTO and that is what we are returning from the get product. If we don't get any product from this repository then we return a product exception. To verify this thing we have added two tests. First one is should get product for given ID and another one is should throw missing product exception. Let's look at the first test. So here we are calling the product service get product method and then we are verifying the response. We need to initialize this product service. To initialize product service we have various ways. Let's start with the first way where we need a spring contact. Because this product service IMPL is a service that is a bean. So we need to initialize this bean in our test case. That is what we can do by applying the auto wire. So here we have added the auto wire. Also product service requires a bean of type product repository. At this moment we don't have any implementation for this repository so we cannot initialize a bean. If we need to initialize such bean we can add at the rate mock bean. Here with the help of mock bean we will get the instance of product repository but it will not be the actual instance. Here we have the product service dot get product it is going to call the repository. So we need to mock the response from the method that we are calling within the product service. Here we are calling the product repository dot find by id method and we are passing the id which we are getting in the method. In our test case we can add the mock by applying the mock response and that is what we can get by applying when and repository dot find by id and we are expecting that this method will be called by the id one. In response to that we need to return one mock product response. So here we have already defined one response. As far as test setup is concerned we have the product service call and we have one mock response and now we are asserting the values. Let's run this test. Test is failing and here it is throwing the null pointer exception. This exception we are getting from this repository. That means here this mock bean is not initialized and similarly this service is also not initialized as of now we don't have any spring context in place. To add the spring test context we also need to add one more annotation which is spring boot test. If you look at this annotation here we have the boot step width and it is initializing the spring boot test context. So with the help of this annotation now if we will run our test. So here it started running this test and test is successful now and also if you will notice it is loading the spring boot and all the dependencies which are required to run this particular test. It is taking lots of time and all the time is being taken by the spring boot initialization. This is spring boot initialization only because we need to initialize the product service. Is there any other way in which we can initialize the service without the spring? Let's see that. If we treat this product service as simple Java class then we just need to initialize the instance by simply adding new. So here we can also create a product service instance in our setup method and this is what we can do by doing new product service and we need instance of product service so it is product service IMPL. And here we have the product service we can refer to the same global variable and here we have product service. There is one more problem and the problem is this product service requires the another type product repository. When we will instantiate this product service then we also need to pass this product repository from the constructor. So here we also need to create one more constructor and that takes the product repository as the parameter. Now we don't need this auto wired and even if a spring will initialize this particular class then it will add this product repository bean in the constructor. Going back to our test, here we can add the repository. So we just need to remove the at the rate auto wired. Also, we don't need this mock bean. Here we have the product repository. We still need a mock object of repository. So here we can create a mock by applying mock and the name of the class which is product repository dot class. Also, 
we can use here at the rate mock both of them are the same thing let's go with mock right now and here we will have the same thing we are getting the mock response by calling the find by id in our test case and if we will run this test it is failing and it is failed to load the application context that means it is still loading the spring context and this is merely because of this annotation and let's remove this thing here you can see the test is successful and it ran quickly that means at this moment it did not initialize anything related to the spring it has just created the instance of the product service and then executed this particular test so in this particular class we have defined our own constructor and by adding the constructor you can always manage the number of component that you are adding in your application as the dependency going back to the test here we have defined the setup method and we have initialized this product service by ourselves it is also possible that we will be adding more dependencies in our class then we will have to change this thing every time there is one more thing that we can do with our test and we can add the at the rate inject mocks so with this annotation we don't need this setup and whenever our test will be executed the service with the inject mock annotation will be initialized and it will also add the dependencies which are required by the service so here we have the product repository if we have defined this repository as mock product service will be initialized with this repository with this change if we will run our test it is failing and it is again throwing null pointer exception this is because this inject mock can only work when we extend our test with the mockito if we add one more annotation which is extend with an mockito extension now with this mockito extension whenever any class which has been defined with the inject mocks will be initialized at the time of test run with this we can run the test all right so there is one more problem with the inject mocks we cannot have the interface type we need the actual type of the class which need to be initialized like in this case we initialize this product service by product service impl so here we have the product service impl running this this is running without the spring context and here one benefit is whenever we need to add the test case for existing setup then we need not to add the constructor so it will also work with the auto wired we have another method which is just supporting the failure scenario whenever we are calling this product service dot get product method and product repository is returning null that means there is no product available for this id then the service is throwing the product exception now in our test we need to verify that for that we have added one assertion which is assert throws with this assertion it will assert that service is throwing the exception that is defined within the first parameter so here we have the product exception the second parameter is where we will pass the lambda expression so it will call the service and whatever exception will be thrown it will return in the response so here we have the product exception and now same thing we have asserted if you have noticed the difference between the time when we initialized our test with the help of the spring context and time it took while running the test without the spring so you can definitely see the difference always keep in mind whenever you are writing the test for your services or in any layer where you don't need the spring then just write your test like simple java classes and if you need the spring context in the test such as the controller test where you definitely need to use the spring in this way your test will only have the required things loaded and your test will be fast this is about adding the mean and the injecting the mocks in the test cases if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and share and also press the notification bell icon to get the latest update on my new videos until then happy coding